Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading today. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly horoscope, Scorpio, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you, Scorpio, is through the comments. Also, I would really appreciate it if you do enjoy this weekly horoscope reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Scorpio. I'd really be appreciative of it if you were to go the extra step and give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot whenever you do. And I always am super appreciative when you do that for me. Um, as well, remember, Scorpio, to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. I believe my tarot cards are just here to give you some perspective as you go throughout your week and just some food for thought for today. Uh, so with all that in mind, Scorpio, let's just get into your reading. I want to see where it is you guys are currently at right now and like where it is you're feeling, where is your direction and life heading towards this week. Let's see what's up with you, Scorpio. All right, so we start this out with the Ten of Fire or the Ten of Wands. Uh, this card says too much work, uh, accept help from others, life is out of balance, and stress-related health concerns. So we can already identify this week for you, Scorpio, that this is, you know, I want to just say with my optimistic nature and just hopefully that you guys are addressing some baggage that you guys have been carrying with you for a while now something that's been weighing on you uh you know this i am getting a sense of maybe now this is going to be the week scorpio that you guys finally address uh an issue that makes or like a we'll call it like an issue or like a uh, problem scorpio of where something that was being a little bit of a hindrance for you uh you know this could be you know let me give the example of you know some of you scorpios let's say you want to get your health in order before you go out and pursue like a passion of yours and so that's always been your thing or perhaps even though maybe you have been pursuing your passion or pursuing this thing but you haven't been able to fully allow yourself to enjoy the experience and be present with the experience because you're just constantly thinking about being like uh being like oh if only i could just do like if i only i was like you know if one all those like if only what ifs whatevers right the best case scenarios that we always will paint for ourselves in our lives right um maybe perhaps you're addressing the blockages when it comes to that now uh scorpio so let's see with some cards let's get some clarifying uh cards for this <clears throat> all right so i'll show you the cards we have the wheel of fortune for you and the reverse by the way the hanged man as well as the knight of swords so really confirming to me what i was uh, having suspicions of scorpio definitely with this hanged man here you guys are doing a different approach and finally committing to something that you've that's been sitting in your mind for a while now right um you know very much so it's time for a change is something that i keep on hearing right because the hanged man always represents having to commit to doing something that you haven't really done before and seeing things from a different approach and you know trying a different approach with something to get to your end goal to get to your sun which the sun represents you know that abundance scorpio uh with this wheel of fortune in the reverse this lets me know what it is you're addressing right uh this wheel of fortune coming in with the knight of swords lets me know where this has been something that you've been rattling within your head for a while scorpio maybe for some of you guys you don't even quite know what exactly this wheel of fortune is i feel like you do for most of you guys but again and i feel like it's kind of reminiscent from your last week's reading scorpio where um you're just ready to just switch up whatever you need to switch up in order to start not in order to no longer res have as much resistance in your path in some way um definitely with this knight of swords you're really trying to i see you guys really uh, i am being shown a plate right now as random as that might sound so i don't know scorpio if you guys are putting too much on your plate ace of wands you're okay what's this ace of wands about you guys are pursuing something you guys acknowledge something that's probably what's getting the wheels turning for you scorpio but this ace of wands you guys are actively um something neither either inspired you motivated you 
Uh, King of Cups in the reverse with the Knight of Cups. Yeah, so this is making sense. The Knight, the King of Cups in the reverse is you, Scorpio. I would say this is you because this is like a sense of just an, almost like a manic energy. I would describe this as Scorpio, where you're just like, holy crap, like how can I start receiving <laughs> some blessings? How can I start receiving some opportunities? Maybe I want to pull a card. Um, I'm going to say this now and we'll see a card to confirm this or not. Uh, this could very much so be a dynamic with this Knight of Cups here. I could see this in two ways for you, and we'll see in a moment. I could see this in a situation where uh, something comes forward to you uh, that really starts engaging you in this Ace of Wands energy that really motivates you. It's almost like a, you know, like that hand reaching out to help you while you're in like drowning in darkness or something like that. You know, the, maybe that sounds a little bit too much, but I feel like maybe this is like, it could be in that way, you know, but we have to acknowledge my optimistic nature where I want to just, you know, find those miracles, be re extremely hopeful all the time, which everyone should, right? Um, or this could be in a situation of where this King of Cups out of balance, Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands. This is a situation of where, you know, remembering with that Ten of Fire uh, telling you to ask for help, Scorpio, perhaps this is a situation here of where you're really perhaps being pushed to find someone to connect with, to relate with from that's not in like your normal immediate comfort zone. So let's just see. I want to see. <laughs> Six of Swords in the reverse for you. All right, I want one more. The moon card in the reverse. Okay, yeah, I do see this. This is very much so like somebody. Notice how I use the example of like someone reaching out in the water and like in the middle of darkness, like in, in darkness, reaching out to extend their hand to help you out. Scorpio, I really would see this as like a potential of where if you're willing to ask for help, if you're willing to exude a little bit more vulnerability, I do see someone, especially with the Six of Swords here, I feel like this is someone in like your space, something that could actually help you actively right now. Maybe this is like entertaining like a connection that you've had in your life, maybe like an acquaintance. Uh, that you never associated with in a certain way, right? Where you never could see how they would fit in like a specific aspect of your life, if it's work or what have you. Maybe it's even a family member that you haven't connected to in a long time. Um, I do see this potential of someone reaching out to help you out, but you have to be the one to uh, let it be known that you want help, right? Uh, because if you have like this very piercing, uh, intimidating energy to you, people aren't, they're going to be intimidated to help you. They're going to be like, all right, well, Scorpio, we don't want to help in case Scorpio just snaps at us and says, oh, no, we got it, right? You have to keep that in mind. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. Scorpio, you have to, I'm going to be honest here. If you're wanting to, I feel like you're, the blockage that I'm being shown in this spread so far, Scorpio, is I'm seeing an individual who's too used to being independent, too used to feeling as if they know everything. I'm going to step on some toes now. Or maybe you don't feel like you know everything, um, but you always feel as if you have the best approach. Like your approach, your the way you go about things is like you don't consider the help of other people. Or maybe not everybody, but maybe there's this, going back to the situation of where I feel like there is somebody that could help you out. Maybe you know, give them the benefit of the doubt and be like, maybe they have something to offer that you don't know um, anything about, Scorpio. Overall, this spread is really speaking of an individual who just needs to practice a little bit more vulnerability. I feel like if you were to practice a little bit more vulnerability, uh, be willing to take a seat and to observe rather than always feel like you have to be the one to be calling the shots and to just allowing yourself in that state of feeling uncomfortable for a little bit, right? Feeling vulnerable, because I feel like that's really the key point for you, Scorpios, is your lack of vulnerability is what's really, what's making your path a lot harder than what it needs to be, right? Maybe there's someone that you've had a little bit of a critical nature about that you should open up to. You know, this is just me now, like, thinking out loud, just because it's like, I do see this as the dynamic of someone that's already in your space that could help you, and for some reason, you're not seeing it in this way. Yeah, Ten of Water in the reverse. I don't feel as if, like, I don't want to go as far as to say that you guys are not in good standing with one another. I just feel like you just never saw this person in a way, or just allowed this person to be someone that could actually offer you some advice. You know, maybe you always just saw them 
you know, let's just say, like, as an example, the, uh, then I'll drop it, is where, like, you know, when we're, if you have siblings and you're little kids, right, and you have your little sister, your little brother, right, you don't really take much of what they say to heart or seriously, especially if you're the older kid. And so you maybe always have had that dynamic with them or maybe, you know, in that way. And, though, and then as you grow up, now that you're all adults, you are now needing to transition from that phase of being like, oh, okay, this is my little brother, this is my little sister, and be like, oh. This is a full on human adult here that could actually help me out in some way that has something that could provide for me in some way because I also am a human full grown adult. Does that make sense? So I don't want, like, it could be in a, very, a lot of narratives of why it is you choose not to listen to them before, right? Maybe, you know, but you get the point. So now I wanted to see a card. I pulled a card now to see where it is, how this week will progress for you, Scorpio. And oh, you guys got two cards actually. I didn't know that. Uh, so you have both the three and seven of fire or the wands cards. I read off the seven of uh, wands for you first. This card says, defending your beliefs and decisions, standing your ground and choosing your battles wisely. As well with this three of wands, this card says abundance, things are looking up uh, and looking very good rather. Uh, have patience at this time and making long-term plans. So how would we break this together since these two puzzle pieces insist on being together for you, Scorpio? I would see this as a situation here. <sighs> you know what? Yeah, I really do see this sense of like you would be opening like once you open up to this I the idea of like this energy and being like, you know what, let me just hear them out. Right. I very much so like hear the sense of just hearing this out, giving something a chance if it's not a party member involved and it's just like a work situation. Um and keep in mind, I really want to just emphasize this is not like X energy whatsoever. So I don't want to see in the comments. Well, I guess you can, honey. But it's like I, it's like I don't want to see in the comments really about being like, oh, this is my ex, about my ex. I don't want them coming back. Whatever. I don't feel like this is any kind of like, like because notice we're not getting a bunch of swords. Like it's not a bunch of pain associated with this. I just feel like you are not seeing someone in a way. You know, it's just very much so like a sense of like your view of them hasn't changed or grown or like matured. I guess that sounds aggressive. Um, I feel like you get the point. I'm done with really ranting on it. I feel like you guys get it. So let's pull some clarifiers on this. I do see though, once you start opening up to this energy, once you start exuding a little bit more, more vulnerability, especially with this Three of Wands, uh, this is an energy where it's like, someone that you you know that little sister you're just like oh wow like i didn't know you actually had that good of a mind about business do you want to do business together this is how i would see this right because of the long-term plans and the three of wands i always say it's like the seeing a, a sign like a you're starting to notice the breadcrumbs of where it is you need to follow i see it in this way so i, I hope these analogies are making sense uh scorpio i always get self-conscious in that i feel like my analogies might get lost uh, or the message might get lost in my analogies, but let's just pull some clarifiers here. <clears throat> Nine of Cups in the reverse, okay. So Scorpio, we have right here, uh, the Knight of Swords in the reverse for you, the Eight of Wands, and then the Nine of Cups in the reverse for you. So this is definitely going to be a situation of where, you know, I say my Eight of Wands is that card of where you are trying out a lot of things, right? Being willing to pick up, step up to the plate, but also being willing to like go in the driver's seat, or not in the driver's seat, in the back seat. Sometimes you are the driver, sometimes you're in the uh, passenger side, right? And this is going to be extremely uncomfortable for you. This is going to feel extremely counterintuitive or feel as if like because you're not, you're not as involved or like you're not as much you're not driving as much right i feel like that's going to be the biggest challenge for you this week uh scorpio is just allowing the sense of vulnerability and just allowing the sense of uh, st uh being a student and acknowledging that you don't know everything right i know i keep on saying you don't know everything and like it doesn't have to be in this way right in like an aggressive way i don't mean it in an aggressive way you know just open yourself up to a channel of energy that you normally wouldn't right so how does like let's just say scorpio i want to get a little bit more detail on this so we know this is going to be challenging for you but you know let's see page of cups three of cups but it turns out so beautifully right if you work through this discomfort if you work through this 
you know, very much so like, you know, if you're learning how to drive and like you had a parent teach you and like that parent is just super like, they just grab on to anything if you go faster than 10 miles an hour, right? That energy, if you let go and would be willing to just like relax a little bit and be like, you know what? they know how to drive you know it's okay right it turns out so beautifully for you scorpio king of pentacles page of cups three of cups on the upright for you this is an energy scorpio of where you a lot of stability honey you built like you know into that analogy of building that business doing business with your sibling younger sibling it really opens up new opportunity page of cups represents not only new things coming because a page represents that but it talks about the deepening of current connections and i point this out because of the three of cups it's a celebratory card not just with one singular person it's like a group thing like i feel like you get you become much closer together through building some something strong together whether this is like a business whether this is just like a moving in together right whether whatever this is is some sort of collaboration with another energy i feel will have you feeling really good about not only the connection that you have but just in your life in general i feel like it just brings up a lot of abundance for you right and that's why you talk about the abundance in the three, three of wands and making long-term plans because you start experiencing that uh you just start experiencing that abundance right so very 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 good cards uh we have going on for you this week scorpio let me know how this pans out for you uh so now we're going to be getting into your financial and career situation this week scorpio in specific so let's see what's going on there for you what's going on for my scorpio's financial uh this week what's going on for the career we have the dreamer card the fool this makes so much sense as well with my analogies right this card says a leap of faith following your dreams and unexpected opportunities uh i always will bring up metatron is going to be an archangel reaching out to you this week if you feel open to connecting to archangels but yeah this is the fool card a normal tarot uh scorpio so this is definitely looking good when you think about the fool it's the beginning of a chapter so it really highlights this you know going back to the general message sort of thing uh scorpio let's see but this is again i do feel like this is gonna be your biggest struggle is page of wands in the upright but the temperance card and the moon card in the reverse i feel like your impatience will come in just from this unsureness of like not knowing how you know you delve into this new energy page of wands right i always say it's my fresh start card so it pairs nicely with the fool that's why you have the zero on the fool because or the dreamer rather in this deck because it's like the beginning of a journey uh the page of wands fresh start passion but this is going to be your issue because you don't know the turn out of out, out of events because you're having to do stuff that you haven't normally done before you might experience a sense of impatience or constantly having like one foot out the door and being like all right though so, you know very much so like a oh and like always like planning for like plan b plan c plan d plan e honey and plan f before you even get plan a going right you start setting it up it's like some would argue being like oh just being over prepared but in this sense i feel as if like you're just looking at you're not really giving this a full chance um you won't be able to give this a full chance rather if you just no no you will i don't want to say that you won't scorpio right i don't like that verbiage you will it's just going to be extremely hard for you initially so but i know you can handle it so now scorpio let's get into your uh love and social situation this week right what's going on there because we have more than just love i always want to make note of that we have family we have friends honey we have so many relationships in our lives it's not just about the uh one where you do things with honey <laughs> so page of earth coming in here i really do feel like this is, this is reflecting so beautifully together because i do feel like there's someone that you could pages represent you know you keep having pages and all this energy this is all new honey all these cards just talking about new energy good news about financial matters wanting to do something more challenging in a new area of study can we just appreciate how this card literally encompasses embodies the whole message and everything that i've been trying to say scorpio notice how you get the financial card when we talk about your relationships in your life confirming to what i was saying before honey about how i feel like there's someone in your circle that you could collaborate with you could work with and i use the example of business honey 
come on and i talk about the new area study i talk about how it's going to be something new for you entirely scorpio why am i yelling at you i'm yelling at you because i want you to receive this reading and have you realized and just appreciate so i'm not the only one geeking out from like how the tarot cards are just flowing so beautifully together for you scorpio i love it so let's just get some clarifiers on this yeah okay yeah, I mean, come on, Scorpio. You have the King of Swords, you have the Nine of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands, all in the upright for you. This is just straight up an energy, you know, with this King of Swords here. This is very much so uh, keeping a very much good grasp on, like, your mental stability, right? Nine of Pentacles, Four of Wands. This is just straight up going to be what fulfills you, Scorpio. I really do feel like this is like a time where you need to start asking yourself how it is you can start changing up your approach on things. Just in all facets of your life, because it's, your entire reading covers it all. But especially in terms of your relationships, and especially in terms of uh, your work situation, like everything. there's It's all around you, Scorpio. I just feel as if you might not be utilizing everything that's in your current space as to the highest potential that it could be just because you don't want to keep an open mind or you haven't rather kept an open mind about who could be the next person to offer you this sage advice or to assist you in your path once you are able to just you know there's a quote in a book called like that says something along the lines of uh waking up every single day as a student where you feel where where you don't feel like you have anything to, I don't want to say you don't feel like you have to, anything to say, but waking up as a student, meaning like you wake up and just are ready to be taught anything from no matter who the teacher is, no matter where it looks like, right? So keep that in mind, keep that energy for this week, uh, Scorpio, and I feel like everything will just turn out really beautifully for you. But Scorpio, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you found some messages that resonate. Be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards did. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Scorpio, I do weekly horoscope readings for all the zodiac signs. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, send them their zodiac sign horoscopes. Send them their zodiac horoscope reading from me, and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. Until next time, though, Scorpio, I love you so much. Bye.